Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Today is day 22 with hatching our chicken eggs. Well, let's just say last night I did not get a lot of sleep. I heard a lot of chirping, a lot of flipping around. Woke up early this morning, about 5 in the morning, and we've so far got four baby chicks completely out of the eggshell and drying right now. So, let's rewind a little bit and do a recap. Day 18, we pulled the egg turner out. We laid the eggs down on the metal grid, filled them out with water, and basically put the incubator on lockdown. Day 19, didn't see much. Basically, if you looked real close, you could see a couple eggs moving. Um, every now and then, maybe a small peep. Day 20. There was a lot of peeping going on. There wasn't any pecking through the egg yet, but there was a lot of noise. Well, day 21, there were several eggs that were starting to get peck holes through them. So we knew it was coming, it was time. Well, last night, I guess they all wanted to come out and we still have several more that are half pecked through. So, as the day continues today on day 22, we're going to keep you updated and see what we end up with. Um, the ones that have just recently hatched, you want to leave them in your incubator for up to 24 hours. That will ensure that they are completely dried, they can get their feeding under them and learn how to walk a little bit before going out in the brooder. But during this time, while I'm waiting, and I know we've already got chicks in the incubator that are out of the eggshells, I'm going to go out, get my brooder plugged in, get my waters, my feeders filled, so we will be ready. The question is, when can I safely remove the chicks from the incubator and put them out under the heat lamp in the brooder? So the rule of thumb is you want to wait 24 to 48 hours till that chick hatches. That gives everybody plenty enough time to warm up and dry off. The only reason why we want to wait and do that, anytime you open this incubator during hatch, hatching time, it's going to pull humidity out. And when we do that, it's going to dry the air sac around the chick egg. Therefore, it's going to make it tough for that chick to actually peck through. So leave this closed. Just keep an eye on them. While my chicks are still in the incubator drying off, I came out. I got my brooder ready to go. The light's on, so the area is warming up. I got my food in there, my chick starter mixed with some chick scratch, and I got my water in there. It looks orange because we added that electrolyte, which you want to do, I usually do it for about the first week, one pack per gallon of water. So now we're just going to wait. When them chicks are ready, we're going to start bringing them out, you guys, and we'll show you what they're looking like. All right, guys, we're going to take a sneak peek at some of these chicks. It's been almost 24 hours since the first couple have hatched. So we're gonna pull them out. I got my brooder warming up like I had mentioned and we're gonna move them out and let you guys see them up close and personal. Let's go get these guys under some heat. One by one, we're gonna get them in here and just get them under some light. I'm actually gonna set this down here, make it a little easier on these guys. There we go. 
Look at that little darling. Oh, Hello, babies. This is gonna be so much fun seeing how these guys look. It's going to take them a little bit and they'll get their footing a little better. But there we go, you guys. There's what we have so far and there's still more hatching. Good morning again, you guys. Today is day 23. So I got a little bit more sleep last night. There still was some wrestling going around and some peeping going on. But so far, outside of my brooder, I did have 19 chicks. We lost one overnight, so I pulled it out this morning. So we've got 18 of them out there. And I've got five in here right now drying off. One may not make it. It looks like its legs came out deformed. So I'm waiting to see. And there's one or two more eggs that look like there's possibly activity going on. So by the end of the day, we'll know more and see who else is going to make an appearance. So now I'm going to walk you guys outside and give you a sneak peek at what our new baby chicks look like. Okay, so here's a little sneak peek at the 18 little chickies that we got. They're doing great. They've been drinking. I've watched them eat. They all look fantastic. Some of them are just kind of sunbathing, I guess you could say, in that heat lamp. So, so far, so good. And I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, oh, I think I woke them up. When baby chicks sleep, they actually sleep with their head down into the shavings or your bedding of choice. Sometimes people think that they're not alive, but they are, they're just sleeping. And so when you startle them, as you saw, they woke right up. But aren't these just some cuties? We're gonna give it a couple of days, let everybody settle in, and I am gonna see if I can tell if I've got some hens or roosters and I'm going to try to show you guys on camera, show you what to look for, and we'll go from there. Well, that about sums up the hatching process. I want to thank you guys for following along on this journey. I'm going to continue to update you guys periodically on the growth of these chicks and talk about their health and how to take care of them. So I thank you again. I hope you got enjoyment out of this like we did, and now... I've got a bunch of chicks that we get to raise and have some fun with. All right, you guys, thanks again and have a nice day.